Jim, our next question, sent on Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from Zan. Hi, Zan? Zan, as in Zan Panzer. Zan Panzer strikes again. Hey, Jim and Brian. After hearing your takes on Hulk Hogan and his working smart throughout his career, why do you think he and Bossman did that big superplex spot off the cage during their 1989 run? Seems like more than Hogan would normally do in a match. Um, I talked to Bubba about that afterwards because that was the talk of everywhere. Um, and It was incredible. I, it was the most impressive yeah. thing, and then they did it on Saturday night's main event. Well, and and now let me, having said that, Hogan wasn't taking it. Hogan was giving it. So you'd still be sitting here holding your breath if you were waiting for Hogan to take it. I'm not saying it wasn't a big bump, bigger than he usually took in order to give somebody something, but there's Bubba. You, He's able to do so much, and he's willing to do so much, because we've talked about what a prodigy he was from... The, he was doing jobs on TV as himself, Fat Boy Ray Trailer, in March of 1986, and by March of 1988, he's main eventing network television and Madison Square Garden shows against Hulk Hogan. A year later. Two years. No, 89, I'm saying, not 88, 89. Oh, okay, well, in three years. But he was he was in the WWF in two years. He yes. was working on top against Dusty Rhodes within six months and drawing record houses. So he was a prodigy. And he wanted to do something to differentiate himself from everybody else. A guy that big didn't take bumps like that. But he knew that if he told Hulk Hogan, hey, Hulk, what about you give me a superplex off the top of the cage? How the fuck is Hulk Hogan going to resist that? Hulk Hogan takes this 350-pound heel and does something that nobody's ever seen before on those old hard rings like frying pans. And the reason why it was being done, for all of you who are going, oh, well, I, well now, when 30 years <laughs> ago, when, when he wanted to take the big bump, when Big Boss Man wanted to take the big bump, Cornette doesn't like big bumps, but he wants to... Big Boss Man to take the big bump. The Big Boss Man took the big bump that everybody remembers and still talks about to this day, but was talking about all over the world of wrestling when it happened. And also because the Big Boss Man, who was a job guy working for $40 or whatever on fucking Atlanta TV three years earlier, in 1989 was making $12,000 a week Working with Hulk Hogan. And what is that today? I don't even have the inflation calculator up, but I would imagine it translates to, what, 30, 35 grand. <clears throat> so, because that's enough, that was the first thing that Bubba mentioned on the phone was, guess what my check was for last week, Jimmy? 12 grand. That was that was money in those days. It's still money today, but it was money in those days, especially. I was going to say, when you said the reason why this happened, the real reason why this happened was the money for the scaffold match. That's the real reason why this Hogan well, it, boss yes. thing happened. Yeah. Because, again, we've told it before, but when we had the Midnight Express Rock and Roll Express scaffold match at Starcade 87 in Chicago... And and I hated that we always had a scaffold match at Starcade where we couldn't actually have a great match. But Bobby took the bump, Stan took the bump. I was absolved from taking the bump after what happened the previous year. But they had Bubba climb the scaffold to do the spot with Ricky at the end, where Ricky nut shot at him and got away. And when we got the checks, I got ten grand. Bobby got ten grand. Stan got ten grand. Bubba, the biggest guy that climbed up there only got five grand and he was like, ah. and that's when he decided to make the phone call and they obviously a guy of his size that had already only been in the business for a year and set attendance records and including in pittsburgh one of the wwf's towns they'd been running for 50 years uh they wanted him and then that first run with hogan was one of the biggest house show runs that anybody had with Hogan and he was making 
as I said, you know, around or upwards of 40 grand a month while that was going on. 